the biggest problem that I see, especially with newer businesses, when it comes to pricing, is on things that you're really, really good at, you feel guilty charging a reasonable price. And we're all guilty of it, and I've got to stand here and admit that, you know, in the last 60 days, we've increased our prices by 100% and actually have seen our sales go up. So, you know, if you say, gee, I'm getting $1,500 for a website and I see someone else getting 15000 it's because they believe they're worth 15000 But more than that, the higher the price goes, the more touches it takes to make a sale. And touches have to be congruent. So, you know, if, if you tell me you're the best corporate guy in the world and I go to your Facebook site and you got a lampshade on your head and a fifth in each hand, I, that's not going to do it for me, guys. Uh, that's why we, we do the book thing. We have people that help us with our website. We have people that help us with our social media. We know our elevator story and everybody has it memorized. You know, so it's got to be congruent, and the higher the ticket, the more it touches, the more times people are going to go check you out. So those are the two problems that I see with pricing. So I'm going to give you guys a quick tip on pricing because John had mentioned software pricing. I thought he was going somewhere else with the question, but he didn't. But I would love to share something that we've recently been testing. Um, if you have any type of software or any type of membership platform, that you're sending that you're selling at $29 a month or $39 a month or anything like that my advice to you would be to kill it and only offer an annual plan so I'll give you an example well first of all I'll, I'll tell you the reasoning nobody wants another bill every month right who in the world wants to have another $29 a month hitting at always the inappropriate time in our checking account or whatever the case is thank you we don't want another bill but you know what we're very happy to do Pay for something on an annual plan. I think, if you ask me, I think the biggest mistake that we did in the Genesis Labs launch is I feel that we could have been so much more successful had we said, this is what Genesis Labs is, and you can be a member for one full year at $227. And that's it. And then people would have evaluated, I'm going to get a year of all this stuff updated. It's such a different position than $29 a month. Because 29 bucks is just another bill. And if I'm not using it for two, three months, well, I just paid for something I'm not using. When you pay $499 a month for GoToWebinar and you haven't used it in four months, don't you feel like, oh my goodness, I've got to really see if I should even keep this up. So when we did Webinar Jam, we brought up the question, should we have a monthly option? And we decided, you know what? Anybody in this room, anybody that's doing a webinar, if you're, if you're going to do a webinar, then you know how to monetize it. And if you can't afford the 297 bucks, then you're probably not the right customer for us. So we not only decided to do 297, we did 297 a year because we've tested it and we found that people don't, it doesn't decrease conversions because they're only paying 297 today. And they say to themselves, well, you know, if I'm not using it next year, then I just won't pay the second year, I'll cancel it. So consider just going to an annual option do annual billing, our conversion rates for Webinar Jam were through the roof. And I think that if that sign up button said 30 bucks a month, I, I swear I feel like people would have been like, am I going to use this this month? You know, I'll come back and buy it in two, three months when I'm ready to do a webinar. And that, that's what I think is happening with anybody that has a continuity. People are going to say, do I need this right now? And then if, they, if they're not using it for three or four months, every time that bill hits and they see it they're they're questioning whether or not they got that much value last last month consider just going to an annual option say monthly option raise the price if it's 29 raise it to 49 and then gray it out and say no longer available annual option save 50 percent put a big call to action there and i would recommend testing that for anybody that's doing um anything uh, monthly and Mike the key you mentioned also is 297 a year because what happens if you have a software that's only 297 dollars it can be the best thing in the world but in everyone's mind they're thinking well okay they'll make money now it'll be supported well for a little while and then it's going to fall off the radar yeah, I wouldn't want to buy a product from somebody that's that's going to be 297 bucks because what is their incentive to update that in two years or three years or support it or whatever? Look, if they move on, and like, oh man, that product I did in 297. You know, the guy, five years later, he wants support. Yeah, but why, why not? That's what you promised, you said, lifetime. So we, you know, we found that uh, 297, actually, people are saying, yeah, I'm, I want to, you know, they're going to be there for me in two, three years, and I'm using this to build my business. 
You know, imagine if Infusionsoft was a thousand dollars one time. Like, you know, would you want to use them? I mean, it'd be great. It'd, it'd be, be hard to money. use, and it would yeah. be painful to use and stuff. And they right? never updated it. <laughs> imagine. Okay.